Next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at how to multiply polynomials. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to lean a little bit back on our uh, experience with multiplying exponents together, or multiplying like bases, so we'll see if we can't do this. What we have here is we actually have a uh, linear binomial, so a degree of one, two terms, linear binomial, times a quadratic trinomial. So uh, one thing you can do is actually kind of get an idea of what your answer is going to look like. We've got two things. We've got terms and degree. Uh, this degree is 1 and this degree is 2 so what you need to know is when you multiply like bases you add their exponents so our answer has to have a degree of 3 and then we have two terms here and then here we have three terms so when we multiply everything out we're actually going to get six things when we multiply everything out so it's just a little guide that you can if you stop and think about the problem beforehand it will kind of help you get your answer because you'll know if you get it wrong based on not getting enough terms and not getting the correct degree. Well, to multiply polynomials together, uh, what we're going to do, you guys have probably studied a lot the FOIL method. Well, the FOIL method only works for a binomial times a binomial. What we have here is a binomial times a trinomial. So the distributive property lucky, luckily works for everything. So we're going to take the first term of this binomial and multiply it by each term in your trinomial. When you do that, you'll get uh, when you multiply things together, you're going to multiply the coefficients. 2 times 1 is 2. x times x is x to the third. 2 times 4x, uh, we're going to multiply, or 2x times 4x. We're going to multiply our coefficients to get 8. When you multiply x times x, you add the exponents. And 2x times 5, 2 times 5 will give me a nice little 10. I don't have anything to combine that x with, so I'm finished there. So as you can see, I multiplied this term by these three to give me three terms. And now we'll take the positive 3. Make sure that you take the sign with it, because if it were negative 3, it would make a huge difference. So when I multiply these two together, it will give me a positive 3x squared. And then this times this will give me a positive 12x. And this times this is a positive 15. Now as you can see, as I've been doing this, I've done this uh, method called vertical alignment. And what vertical alignment is, is as I'm multiplying, I line up the terms that have the same degree. You don't have to do it this way, but it usually makes it easier for me, especially if you end up with a bunch of terms, because you don't have to go through a big long line of terms and try to figure out the ones that match. You just match them up as you go. So as you can see, our highest degree is 3, which is what we were supposed to get. We ended up with 6 terms, which is how many we were supposed to get. And now what we're going to do is combine like terms. So our answer, 2x to the third plus 11x squared plus 22x and then plus 15. So as you can see, degree is 3, four term polynomial, leading coefficient of 2. Next example we'll look at, this one's a little bit more complicated, uh, pretty commonly missed thing. In fact, it's one of the 10 most common things missed on your ACT is a problem like this, where what you're trying to do is you're trying to square or cube a binomial. And the problem is, is a lot of people just try to square or cube each part. But that only works with a monomial. The concept that you need to use to be able to cube a binomial is you're going to need to multiply uh, the base by itself three times. So in this case, x, plus, x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2. And that, by definition, that's what it means to cube something. So the problem with this is, is we can only multiply two polynomials together at one time. So I'm going to take this right here and multiply these two together. So it'll give me x squared plus, or minus 2x, sorry. And then take that negative 2 and multiply it by both, and I get negative 2x and then plus 4. So that polynomial, when I multiply it together, x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now, that is the product of these two, but I still need to multiply it by x minus 2. So I'll take that x and multiply it by all three. x to the third minus 4x squared plus 4x. And then lastly, I'm going to take this term, negative 2, I'll use a different color, and multiply it by all three also, and that will give me negative 2x squared plus 8x, and then minus 8. And lastly, again, what we'll do is we'll combine like terms. So x to the third minus 6x squared plus 12x, and then minus 8. 
So again, when you're cubing or squaring a binomial, write the polynomial, or yeah, polynomial if you're doing more than just two terms. Write the polynomial two times if you're squaring, three times if you're cubing. Multiply two of them together at one time. If you have a third, multiply that answer by your last one to get your polynomial.